So now we're at the point now where we're dialing it in, and um, basically I'll just give you an overview of what the whole system looks like. A little bit of cable management, some zip ties, and there's the clamp holding it on. Uh, be if you don't want to go ahead and tap it in, I'm just waiting to go get a different screw to put in there. But uh, that works equally well. So I did put some double-sided tape underneath the angle bracket and just clamp it to the planer. And you don't got to drill through that if you don't want to. And then we got our two mounting positions on the beam reader. Then around the back, you can see the plate that was made. And that's really the only custom piece on this whole thing besides a block of wood but uh, we just have two screws hooking it to the back and some uh, wood screws holding in a uh, piece of wood and that's pretty much the whole system very simple uh, has millimeter inches and you can set it to zero and you can have accuracy of all the way up to I think it's one one twenty eighth. Yeah, I just haven't moved enough, but uh sixty fourth of an inch is plenty of fun. Alright, now that we have it dialed in using our block down here, what I want to do is create a way that if for some reason we accidentally came up here and hit the zero button or somehow the we change the batteries and it doesn't hold its number, I want an easy way that um, we can set this back up. So what I want to do is use some referencing uh, points and I want to use this bed and this piece of metal right here on top so I got a little bit thicker piece of wood and what I'm going to do is just run it through the planter to get a baseline um, and see what it says up on our digital readout and then I'm going to wind this up until it contacts this and I'm going to take the measurement that's left on here subtract it from our baseline of 0.253 inches and subtract that from what it was to begin with. A little confusing, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so I just took the piece of wood here and I ran it through both sides just so it would be a little bit more stable to use as a setup block. And this number is arbitrary, it doesn't matter. It was three quarter inch, but I took it down a good amount because I know we got to get down pretty low. So after cleaning out both sides, I wrote down the number where we're at, 0.544. That's the same thing we're showing there. You don't want to forget this number because we're going to turn the wheel right now. So basically, I'm going to avoid wanting to take the measurement off the end just in case there's any snipes. So I'm just going to turn it on its side and run it right underneath here and crank this guy down until it stops. Okay? And it just bottomed out. I'll go ahead and take it off again. I don't want to crush it. I kind of want to let the machine just stop. So we're at 0.378. All right? So we know that our reference number was 0.253, and yours may be different, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to take 0.378 and subtract 0.253 from that. All right, just turn the camera off to do a little bit of math. I'll explain the madness. It's actually quite simple. So this is where we started out. When we just planed it, we're at 0.544 inches. All right, that was our current height. Then we put the piece underneath here and cranked it down until it hit pretty tight and that left us with a measurement of 0.378 we know that our block which we first originally set up and remember your number can be different so this could change all these numbers could change for you and they will was 0.253 so we took 0.378 minus 0.253 and it actually happened to work out to a very nice number 0.125 that's how much we need to take off so what we're going to do is take our original number which was 0.544 and we're going to crank it back up until the reading here says 0.544 actually that doesn't matter and then we're going to take off 0.125 all we care about is this number right here the 0.419 so I didn't really need to crank this back up because the end result is what we need to do is plane this down until it reads 0.419 that's going to be our final uh, height of, of this piece of wood and that height should fit very snugly right underneath there now of course I'm going to sneak up on it I'm not going to go right to 0.419 I want to test it first so I'm going to leave it a little heavy 
Uh, but that is going to give you a very accurate baseline in how to get your setup block squared away. So once you do that, you'll be able to slip this right underneath here, crank it up, doesn't matter what that says over there, slip your block in here. Actually, you're going to, you're going to pull this block up to the top here, recalibrate the scale back to zero, loosen your bolts, drop this back down, slip this piece up in there, pull up the piece of wood, tighten it back down, and your reading should come back to 0.253. Now that may bug you. You guys may want an even, nice even number, quarter inch or whatever. It doesn't matter. All that matters is you know what this equals, and this needs to equal the same thing. And if you got your height set up on your planter bed, and you got this dialed in, then it's repeatable every single time, no matter what. Alright. I snuck up on it, and uh, tested it a few times. Hopefully this is right. Uh, it actually ended up, I'm down into 4.419, which is the number I said I needed to be at anyway, so we're going to give it a shot here and see if this works. Hopefully it's not too loose. So again, I'll just set it in here. Again, I'm not using the ends. I'm going to go ahead and cut these off just so, uh, if, in case there's any snipe, we'll just crank this down. And if everything works, this thing should settle on 0.253. So that was a little bit of a hard crank. Let's... There we go. I cranked it down a little hard the first time, but I don't want to compress the wood. So 0 0.253, I mean, we're within thousands anyways. You could possibly be off, but uh, it worked out. So just using those me me methods that I showed you are going to get you pretty close, if not exact, uh, to a, a really easy setup in case uh, you got to change the batteries or you hit the number wrong. So that's pretty much it. This is how it works. And uh, very simple. Not bad, yeah. Put a digital readout on a planter for a little over 30 bucks and about an hour's worth of time.